Previously on Sailing Miss Lone Star, we sail from Sardinia through the Bonifacio Passage to Gaeta, Italy. Halfway through our trip to Gaeta, we lose the autopilot and have to hand steer for hours. This passage was a difficult one. It was cold, it was rough, and without the autopilot, we were so tired by the end. We're making a quick pit stop in Italy from South Africa on our way back home to Little Miss. The difficult sail was made worth it when we were able to see Pompeii for the first time. This week we take Bianca on a field trip to Rome and Pisa. And Stefan and I find out just what's under a Scotsman's kilt. Isn't that amazing? As we travel through Italy, we give you tips on how to travel on a shoestring budget. We're all the way from Gaeta, as you guys know, and today we're going to do it Italian-style cooking. Meat, capresta mm. salad, fresh basil, and tomato. Look at this. Beautiful bruschetta brought to me by this non-Italian man. <laughs> you need to put those in and then put olive oil. We've had two of the most ridiculous, crazy nights of weather. <laughs> this reminds me of that time I was in Africa and they said, don't stand on the toilet, sit. Now I do want to flush my hopes, dreams, goldfish, toilet paper, newspaper, phone bill down the toilet. <laughs> the last thing we thought we'd encounter in Rome was a stag's party full of a bunch of Scotsmen. <laughs> so what's happening now is that Jamie here is trying to name as many uh, U.S. states as he can for some reason. In how many? Uh, what's the time limit? I don't know. Five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes. It's the pride of Scotland. Oh, 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 oh. He says if you show her, if you're really wearing underwear or not, you'll break it. I'm ready. Go, 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 go. We thought we would challenge them on their American trivia. And if they lose, they get to show us just what's under that kill. No, So much more happened in this bar than YouTube can first come in. If you want to see the full hour episode, head over to Vimeo and check out our film. It's been absolutely ridiculous. The weather was so bad that the fender blew off again. Okay, so you first thing you say is, well, you didn't tie the fender. We did tie the fenders. So the jetty pulled back and the boat went forward. And I didn't think about taking the gangway off. The gangway fell in the water and so it broke. That broke off, so we had them repair it here at the shipyard. So let's just get this thing back in here. There we go. So I actually thought that my knot wasn't good enough on this oh, fender. But because of all the chafing, it broke the line. We got a ride to go do laundry on the sailboat, and now I'm gonna go help Tia from Naughty Jeans. So they just told me that the water hose also broke because of the weather. See it there. Okay, we got a ride from a friend here at the marina. But paying five euros a load, ouch. Um, and this whole trip in Europe is about showing you guys how cheap we can do it. All right, our friend just dropped us at the office and now it's laundry time. Come on. Oh, 
Okay, let's do this again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get somebody that speaks English. Because yep. I don't speak Italian. Right, this is Bianca Cam. We should put okay. Bianca Cam at the top. And we are trying to figure out laundry. But they speak Italian. And they said something about us not being able because it's cold. We're on our way to Little Miss. And I'm having so much fun here in Italy, and I've always wanted to go here. And Mom and Steel Funky took me here, and I'm super excited. We're seeing super cool stuff in Rome and in Italy, and it's just so amazing. Bianca Cam, out! <laughs> All right, so this is Gaeta for you, and um, Aubrey's on the boat. She's editing vids. Today is my turn to hang out with the monkey. So look at this, I'm just gonna start to keep walking now, okay? This car is just stopping, and this one too. In Africa, you'll be dead. Ah. <laughs> Yummy. Oh. Hello. Oh. Come inside. Bianca, she says you're the prettiest monkey that she's ever seen in her life. Okay, here's the deal. You can choose whatever you want. You can have half of it and the other half when your school work's done. Look at that pistachio. I want that big donut and fried fried. <laughs> Crawling through the hole. We've arrived at the pizza spot four seconds later. The zucchini one. Yeah. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> Stefan just bought us local red wine for one euro. Two euro. That's how you save money. Can you imagine how much you have to pay for the wine bottle? No. <laughs> That's good. A bottle of wine. Here is. Um, 14 euros. I got a two dollar, two euro bottle of wine. If you want to know how to travel cheap, just come with me, man. I have land. It's piping hot. And we paid 20 euros for it. For two pizzas. Two pizzas and a bottle of water and morning world oh, it's very early it's so nice to make a nice quick pit stop here in Italy um, as you guys know we're on our way back to Little Miss and I'm on my way back to my boat magic Dr. Jane is having eye surgery currently so I just spoke to Brittany and Brittany is the girl that um, that you guys saw in the Africa episodes Dr. Jane Goodall and Brittany works together and we're supposed to have a Skype chat with Dr. Jane Goodall this week, but she just went in for eye surgery, so that's a bummer. Isn't that beautiful? So, um, I think it's time to go and wake them up. What do you think? <laughs> Let's go and see where they are. Hello, puppies. Hello, Luffy. Hello, Luffy. Good morning. Morning. Do you love my stuff, please? You know what I dreamt about? What? I dreamt I got a dog, and it was warm, and I was snuggling it. You were snuggling a warm dog last night. That's what I was dreaming about. It's a horrible dream. It was so cute. It had short hair. Is it cuter than me? Mm. <laughs> a little bit. But then you did something nice. You built me an aviary. What's I that? It's a giant bird cage. Don't forget to use your um, water bottle there on the right. <laughs> oh, our two dollar wine. This was actually really good. Wasn't it? Okay, so this is the problem that I have. She's from Napa. I'm from Cape Town. <laughs> two of the most world-renowned wine valleys in the world. She thinks it's Pinot Noir and I think it's Merlot. So this is something that you don't see on a boat all the time. I mean, just to prove to you that I am on a boat, 
Isn't that cool? Um, Aubrey and Bianca has gone to the office and I'm washing clothes and I'm washing all the sheets for Tom. Uh, I'll be ready. So they don't speak the same language, but sometimes you run into really cool cruising families that have other children and you, apparently you don't have to speak the same language to have a good time. So they're playing. But today we're on our way to Rome because why would you want to sail to the Med if you're not going to go sightseeing? Aubrey? Yes? Would you like some water? No, that water did me in last night. <laughs> Well, hello world! We are headed to Formia and then to Rome. We have to take the bus, then the train. Okay, so we had an option of leaving in 5 minutes or leaving in 55 minutes. So we decided to leave on the cheaper train, which was 8 euro versus 18 euro, which ended up saving us like 50 bucks. Okay, we have arrived at the Airbnb and it's a little bit sad in here. There's nothing in here. There's not even a sofa to sit down on. So we found a box of like dirty stuffed animals and we're decorating the house. Look at this bear, she's going here. Yay! Hi everybody, we're in Rome and we are doing the ultimate field trip for Bianca. She has always wanted to go see Rome and the Colosseum and all of the sites to be seen and also ride a big red bus. So we're gonna take her on the most epic field trip ever. So the reason why I always like the walking is that you get to see so much more. There's little shops that you pass when you walk that you don't never see when you're in, the, in a cab and then also you're saving money. Rest my case. Who is the packing mule here? Moi. Now that we have more things to carry, we're on the way to the Colosseum. Okay guys, as you can see behind me, we're at the famous Colosseum. And I guess this is the one that everybody wants to come and see when they're in Rome. Now there's two experiences to the Colosseum. The one is the building and the one is the Foro Romano. If you come here, Go to the Foro Romano, which is the arch I'm going to show you just off my right side. And that's where you purchase your ticket. It's cheaper and also you get to skip all the lines to go inside. So this is the Arch of Constantine and it is his victorious arch. And it is of triumph over the guy that probably has his head chopped off in the statue at the bottom of the arch. I'm not sure. Right, so there's two ways to purchase tickets when you come to the Colosseum. One is with credit card, which is the shorter line, which we're doing, and then the one is the cash option, which is really long. So currently we're saving time, saving money, by eating our lunch in line. So you say unicorn in, in Italian. Yeah, unicorn. I am a unicorn. Okay, it's the end of the day, and I have concluded that Rome is a very, very romantic place to come. But maybe not with a child. Definitely not. <laughs> anyway, we have seen a lot of the sights and it's been really cool. I just have to say that I know that we're trying to do this on a street string budget and we're doing this really on the cheap. But that doesn't mean that I didn't have the most amazing pasta or we just made the most amazing pasta. So good. And everything I think cost us four bucks. Unbelievable. Taking back all the deeds that we've done. Cheers. Good job. Thank you. This is our child when we try to have a conversation.
lion's nose like you five years. <laughs> Good, that's your lion's nose. Okay, let's see what's your picture. Uh, me, yes. No, man, you have to pretend to push it over or kick it over. Guys, we are in Pisa at the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And we did our best to take the coolest pictures, but I feel like I should have done some research first to do something really creative. Um, this is really neat. I didn't know this. It didn't start to lean later. It started to lean right when they built it, which is really interesting. And if you take a really close look as, and I don't know this, I didn't look this up, I'm just guessing. At about midway, it looks like they tried to straighten it out and then gave up. So I'm gonna check that out when we get back to the Airbnb and see if I'm right. So let me know if you guys can Google faster than I can if they tried to straighten out the tower midway and then just said screw it. <laughs> Miley Cyrus is watching us right now. What do we tell her? Who is Miley Cyrus? That means we're good parents. We're good parents that she doesn't know Miley Cyrus. Okay, so parent, parenting points. Um, what about if what's that girl that sings um, that song that you always listen to? Um, once, oh, that once I was seven years old. Oh, that's a boy. That's a boy. Who's your favorite artist? Quickly! Justin Bieber. Yeah. Justin Bieber. 